And we're going to be up here on November 5th, and we're going to look at Joe Biden, and we're going to look him right in the eye. He's destroying our country, and we're going to say, Joe, you're fired. Get out. Get out, Joe. You're fired. Donald Trump has officially run away with all of the early voting states. The Associated Press called the South Carolina GOP primary for Trump just at 7 p.m. when the polls closed. As Trump gave his victory speech, he was leading Haley by over 35 points. This was a little sooner than we anticipated. It was an even bigger win than we anticipated. And I was just informed that we got double the number of votes that has ever been received in the great state of South Carolina. The Washington Examiner exclusively spoke to Representative Byron Donalds about what Haley should do now that she has lost her home state. Drop out. She's refusing to say she'll drop out. Says she's going to move on to Super Tuesday states. What does that mean for Trump? Just because you're not doing the smart thing doesn't mean you shouldn't do it anyway. She should go ahead and drop out. Look, this thing's over. Donald Trump's our nominee. We all know that. Time to be focused on November when it back to the White House. At the initial call, Nikki Haley's watch party was scarcely attended and had low energy. But as the results came in and she gained on Trump, the crowd's enthusiasm picked up. Haley spoke to supporters to keep her promise to stay in the race despite the disappointing loss. I'm not giving up this fight when a majority of Americans disapprove of both Donald Trump and Joe Biden. And I'm grateful that today is not the end of our story. All of the Nikki Haley supporters the Washington Examiner spoke to said they want her to stay in the race at least through Super Tuesday on March 5th. There's still a lot of work for Nikki Haley to do as she has lost five straight nominating contests. Here from Charleston, South Carolina, I'm Avinci Corshi with the Washington Examiner.